Hi, in this video, I'll talk about Azure File Share Mount and Azure File Sync. Basically, Mount is one of the features of the Azure File Share so that we can mount the Azure File Share on the two virtual machine. And before that, I just want to tell you what is Azure File Share. Basically, it's a convenient place in the cloud where we can store log related information, some metric or some dumps. So we will be storing basically different kinds of files in the Azure File Share. Developers can mount the Azure File Share on their machine. So that's one of the another convenient feature of the Azure File Share. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'll show you how we can mount the Azure File Share on the virtual machine. Before going over there, I just want to discuss slightly what is Azure File Sync. Azure File Sync, basically it's a service that allows you to cache several Azure File Shares on an on-premises Windows Server or Cloud VM. Basically what it will do, there will be a location on the Windows Server which you will cache on a Azure. The caching part is taken care with the help of Azure File Sync service. And in this, what we have to take care of Azure File Share, Server Endpoint and Sync Group. And there's another uh, cool thing which Microsoft has shared. So it's a mapping table in case there are lots of, you know, uh, service and there are lots of location which you are syncing to the Azure File Share. So you can just create a, this mapping table and it has mentioned you need to add the store sync service name, region, then sync group name, and then storage account name, basically then the file share name and then the Windows Server path, the basically which you are caching into the Azure file share and you can just also mention the server folders which you are caching. So with this, you can just maintain or keep a record of all the shares which you are doing, all the syncs, all the caching which you are doing. Now let us jump into the Azure portal and see how this will work. I'm into portal.azure.com. So first what I will do, I'll create a virtual machine. For that, I'll click on this icon and I'll click on create, create a virtual machine. I have to fill some information. First is the resource group. So let me say resource group file share. Click OK and name of the machine. I'll say VM server. So region, I'll say East US 2 secure type standard image. Now I'll select the server. So Windows 2019 server, uh, the reason being Azure file sync will only work on the servers, Windows servers. So that's the reason I have selected Windows 2019 size. I'm okay with this. I have to enter the username and then the password. And inbound port, I'll select HTTP, but it's not mandatory. Uh, yes, yes. Disk, okay. Networking, I'm okay. I'll just click on review plus create. So it will take a moment to create the virtual machine. Okay. So the validation is failed. Let me go and see what exactly has happened. Oh, I missed to click on this. Again, you need to click on review plus create. Then click on create. Now again, it will take a moment to create the virtual machine. So the VM creation is in progress. So what I will do in the meantime, I'll create the storage account and the file share in it. For that, I'll click on home and I need to click on storage account and I'll click on create here. And again, I need to fill some information. First is the resource group. So I'll select that resource group file share storage account name. So I'll say uh, file share storage and I'll say Rohit uh -huh. it should be small in letters so okay for okay region is to s2 and I'll say LRS performance standard click on advance everything looks good networking everything looks good you can click review plus create and again it will take a moment uh, first it will run the validations and then you can click on create. So the deployment of resource group, it started. It will take few moments to complete the storage account. So the deployment is created. I will click on go to resource and I need to click on the file shares. There are other options also. You can go and create a container queue and tables since we need a file share. So I click that and I click on this plus icon. I'll name it as a file share and it has taken, it should be lowercase. Okay. 
and it will give you the maximum space is 5 TB which is allocated to my subscription and then click on create. So the file share is created. I'll click on that. Now, once it is created, you need to click on connect so that you can mount this file share on any of your virtual machine. And if you click on connect, it will pop up this window where it will say, what is the drive letter you want to select? So let's say I'll select H and it will say which type of authentication I'll go with the default storage account key. And for that, what I have to do, I have to copy this particular PowerShell script and I have to run it out in my virtual machine. Once that is done, then this file share will be mounted onto the VM. And please note, it will use the port 445. Many of the machines or if you are connected to your uh, office or any other particular place, then this particular port will be blocked. So you need to uh, first ensure that this port should be working. Uh, copy this script and let me go and see if my virtual machine is created. So I'll say virtual machines and here is a VM server and I need to connect to that. So I'll click on connect. Click RDP. Download RDP file and I have to enter the information. Once you're inside your virtual machine, you need to go to start and type PowerShell and you need to open the PowerShell in the administrative mode. Right click on that and run as administrator. And here you have to paste the script which you have copied in the file share. So I'll just right click and paste it. And let's just wait for a moment. So it is trying to connect and it is waiting for the response. So the credential added successfully. Cool. So it has mounted the file share. And to verify that, let me click on the file explorer, go to this PC and here is the location. So this is how you can mount the file share on any of the virtual machine. Cool. And let me just see, let me create a few files here and see if that works. I'll just add a few documents. Let's say bitmap image, uh, zero size that should be fine. And I'll go to Azure and see if I if these are reflected over there or not. So I went to the Azure, click on home, click on the account, go to file share, click on the file share. Here it is. Bingo. So we are good. So the files which we have created in the virtual machine are immediately reflected in the file share. Cool. Now next we will see Azure file sync service. For that, what I have to do, I will go and click on the home. And here I'll type the Azure file sync. And I have to select in the marketplace Azure file sync. And again, I need to fill some information. First is the resource group. So I'll select the same resource group which we have created and uh, storage sync service name. So I'll say file storage service. And region, I think East US2, which we have selected. So remember the file share and this thing service should be in the same region. So we ha I have selected the East US2. Networking, all good. Tags, all good. This also looks good. And click on create. So this will create the file sync service. So the resource is created. Let me click on go to resource. And I am into the storage sync service as of now. And there are three important things. First is a sync group, then is the register server, and then is the get started. If I click on the register server, it will show me all the servers which are synced or which are linked to this storage service. So once I will add the server which we have created, then automatically it will come here. And, and then there's a sync group option. So basically we can, we have to create a sync group and automatically we can map the location of the server with this sync group. So I'll go to the register servers. And first what I have to do, I have to download the Azure file sync agent and install it into the server. And it has given us this link. So I'll click and I'll just copy this link and I'll go to my server. And there I have to open the, the file explorer, the internet explorer, sorry. So it will open this link 
and I have to click on the download and then I have to select based upon the server so mine is Windows 2019 so I'll select that then click on next and it will download it once it is done I'll click on view to downloads I'll run this and again it will take few moments to complete the setup next 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 yes so it is going to install the sync agent in the windows server once the setup is completed let me click on finish and it will open this file sync agent so what it wants is basically it wants us to sign in so i'll click on the sign in and environment is the azure cloud add i have to enter the information my credentials So once it's sign in, we have to uh, again select some information. So first is your subscription. So mine is Visual Studio, then the resource group. So the file share resource group and then the sync service, basically the sync service which you have created in the Azure, then click on register. So registration is successful. It is just testing the connectivity with the Azure. So that is also done. So we are good with respect to the Windows server. Now I'm back in the Azure and under the register servers, you can see the server where, where you have created the agent. So we are good here. Now next what I will do, I'll go to the sync group. First I'll click on sync group. Then I need to give the sync group name. So I'll say sync group and it has selected the subscription and here I have to select the storage account. So I'll select the storage account which you have created. Then we have to select the file share. So basically what happens in this file share, all the all the files will get synced so let me click on create here and it will take a moment to create the sync group so once the sync group is created it will do the two things first it will create the cloud endpoint then it will create the server endpoint so cloud endpoint creation is in progress the moment you will create the sync group so once that is done then we can add the server endpoint so a server endpoint basically we have to select the location uh, a folder or the drive from the server and we just have to enter into the server endpoint so let me go back to the server and let me create a, a folder here in the server so let's say i'll go to the d drive i'll create a new folder and under the new folder i will add few files and I'll add one more here and I'll name it as Rohit and I'll rename it to let's say file share and I'll copy this path so this will be the server endpoint and I'll go back to Azure and cloud endpoint is created so if you see that is coming here basically the Azure file share information and then I'll click on the server endpoint and here I need to select the server so this is the server and then I have to mention the path, basically any uh, location on the server. Click on create. Started the provisioning and let me click on the provisioning. So it will follow few steps and it will then enable the sync. So I think everything, all the, uh, the progress is done. Let me click on close and I need to go to the file share. And let me click on that file share here. Now we can see all the files which we have created in the Windows server are now in sync with this file share. Cool. So this is how Azure file sync service works. We are good here. Now, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends. Thank you.